artist. I've got a fun project for us to do this week. This is a simple um, bunny outline, and we're going to use lines, which is one of the most basic elements of art, to create the inside. This is a very simple way to add this really cool, fun texture with lines. I saw this from another art teacher in New York who posted it to Instagram for her students, and I thought this would be something super fun for our students to do as well. Now, there's a couple of different ways that you can do this. I've got this outline, and then I did lines. I'll show you how to do that in just a second. Or you can take the outline of your bunny, draw it, and you can make patterns on the inside. And to take both of these a step further is when you're finished, you can cut around the outside of your bunny and you can put it on colored paper or even better, you could paint your paper if you've got paint at home and then glue your bunny to that paper. So to celebrate Easter coming up this week, let's first learn how to draw a bunny. I've got a very simple way to draw a bunny. I also have a PDF of this bunny that I found online that you can download and print at home if you don't want to draw the bunny. I'll show you a very simple way to draw the bunny. Now, both of my drawings, one of them, I'll show you the um, ears came off the edge of my paper. That's okay. Or you can have your bunny ears on the paper, like this one that I drew. Either one of those is fine. This one I did in pen. This one I did in a thick marker. So either way, whatever supplies you have at home are perfect to work with. So I've got a Sharpie here. I've got a pencil. I also have just a plain pen. Any of those will work. I'm gonna draw my bunny just in a pencil and this is plain white coffee paper. And I'm doing it hot dog style. So that's this way, not hamburger, where it'd go this way this way on the paper and I'm going to start I want my bunny to be about the size of my hand his face so if I put my hand down I'm going to just draw a curved line like a sad face right over my hand that's the top of the bunny's head then I'm going to make both of his ears I'm going to come right here and it's kind of like an upside down V and I'm going to make these bunny ears stay on the page and then on this side I'll make that same kind of upside down V or U shaped. So I've got my two bunny ears on top of my sad face. And then right underneath each one of these ears, I'm gonna do a big oval eye. Come down this side, make his oval eye. Then in between those two oval eyes, I'm gonna do a circle. So these are simple shapes to create our bunny. Now in that circle, I'm gonna make his little nose. I'm going to do a smiley face going up. In the middle of my smiley face, I'm going to make a line towards the bottom. And then on either side of that, I'm going to do smiley faces. Now, I did this in a pencil, and then I'm going to go over it with my Sharpie in a little bit, or any marker that you have at home will work perfectly. All right, so I've got the top of my face got my face in here. Now I'm going to come down and make the full face. Here's how I like to make a face of a bunny. Come in to about right at his eyes and then make those big bunny cheeks. I'm going to come down straight, then right at the bottom of his eyes, I'm going to make kind of full big bunny cheeks. And do the same on this side. Come down straight to about the bottom of his eye, and then I'll make those big rounded, these are just curved lines that I'm coming in here and look I messed up right there that's okay what do I say all the time if you make a mark you can turn it into art I did this with pencil I could erase it or when I come in with my straight lines in a minute I can just turn that into something else that's awesome that's okay sometimes you make a mark and it's okay so I'm going to come right here make my curved line off the bottom of my page for my bunny's shoulders. Okay, now I can go over all these lines with my black uh, marker or Sharpie, or you can just use a pen. One other thing that I would say is on um, this one that I did, I made lines with a pencil. You can't really see them in there, but I made lines to kind of guide where I'm putting these straight lines. You might want to do that as well. 
So I'm just gonna come in and make light lines. And what do I tell you guys all the time? Make it light till you got it right. These are just light lines that are gonna guide my drawing. This is where I'm gonna do the straight lines going up. So you can use straight lines for this, or you can do those pattern lines that I used on the other bunny rabbit. I'm gonna go over my bunny with my marker. And this is just a simple outline that I'm filling in. I'm gonna fill it in with all those different kinds of lines I got. Making those bunny ears and the big eyes. I'm gonna fill these eyes in all except one little piece I'm gonna make right there. Leave some of it white. Now you guys can be as creative as you want to on your bunny rabbits. You can color it with colors, with markers. I'm gonna mark where I'm not gonna color in, coloring in the rest of it. All right. I'm gonna make lines around my bunny eyes. Now on this one, I'm gonna do simple lines. So these are straight lines on each one of those horizontal lines I did. I wanna see what you guys make. If you can, take a picture of your bunny and upload it to your Google Classroom so that I can see what you made. If you don't wanna do the outline, then have your parents download that PDF and you can just color the inside. So there's the finished, that's with a marker, just using lines. And then you can also do patterns. I can't wait to see what you come up with with this bunny project. Have a great day.